Time to get up! <laughs> Yay! Let's go and brush our teeth! Hey, which toothbrush is yours? The yellow one! Mine's the purple one! Let's brush, brush, brush! All around the side to reach the back you open wide! Done! Time to have a shower! The water is blue! Lovely! Ooh, and let's dry ourselves with our pink towels! Time to have breakfast! Ooh, yummy! Yay. This looks delicious! Yay. Let's eat! Yummy! I'm going to drink my red drink and you can drink your green drink! Delicious! Yay. Time to go to school! Yours is a pink bag! And mine's the blue! Let's go! Walking to school, looking so cool! Going on the school bus. It's yellow. Ooh, hi, chef. What's cooking in the kitchen today? Fruit. Yes, ma'am. Daddy Rampus. I think she wants you to make something. Okay, ma'am. Got it? Excellent. What's it to be then? Ooh, a cooking pot. Some ingredients. Mmm. Smells delicious! Oh, you're going to heat it in the microwave then, Chef? Well, okay then! This is exciting! I wonder what it's going to be when it's ready! Smells delicious! So, what now then, Chef? Oh, now in the freezer, I see! Goodness, it's ice cream! Delicious! Ooh, red! Pink! And purple! Wow, I hope you enjoyed that, Mr. Chef. You certainly earned it! Hello again! Are we going to cook something else? Exciting! What will it be? Yes, ma'am. I think she's trying to tell you. Okay, ma'am. Excellent. We get the cooking pot. And the ingredient. Ooh. Should we give it a stir? Mmm, yummy smell. In the microwave again. Yay, let's heat it all up. It's ready. Is it going in the freezer again, chef? It is! Let's get it nice and icy cold! Is it ready? <gasps> wow! Look! More ice cream! Oh my goodness! Yellow ice cream! Ooh! Blue ice cream! And green! Yummy! Yum! 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 Bye chef! Hi! We're going to spin our ice cream cone spinning wheel! And we're going to learn colours today! Yes, we are! Let's scoop on some ice cream first! Our ice cream machine will put it on for us! Woohoo! One at a time! So we're just putting on plain flavoured ice cream at the moment and we've got to choose our colours and flavours afterwards! One more to do! Brilliant! Now, let's spin the wheel! Which colour shall we do first? What flavour is your favourite flavour? Oh, I do love this spinning wheel! I'm having a great time doing this! How about you? Again? <laughs> let's spin it even faster! It's so much fun! Let's do green! It could be mint flavoured ice cream or even pistachio! What do you think? What should we do next? Red! Strawberry! Or raspberry! What do you prefer? Oh, I love this game! It's so much fun! Blue! Ooh, 
that could be blueberry flavored ice cream. Yay! Let's do purple. Ooh, blackberry ice cream. Oh, I love it. Oh, and yellow. That could be lemon. And if you don't fancy an ice cream, you can have sorbet instead. They're very refreshing, you know. Orange next for our orange flavoured ice cream. Let's do pink. Woohoo! Pink, that can be raspberry flavoured. Or maybe bubblegum. Spinning. One brown. That's chocolate. It's my favourite. Ooh, delicious. Let's do an olive green coloured. That's more like pistachio, I think. Yeah, that's right. And cyan. Oh, I wonder what flavour that could be. Ooh, black. Hmm, licorice maybe. Interesting. Spinning. And last but not least... Plain white. That could just be vanilla, can't it? What is your favourite colour? Which is your favourite flavour? If you have a real ice cream, you could mix them together, couldn't you? I like to have two scoops on mine. I think I'll go for pink and purple. Ooh, yeah. Even if you can't eat ice cream, there's loads of other options. And I just can't stop spinning this wheel. <laughs> Look, dinosaurs come to try some. Ooh, yummy, I'm going to have a scoop. <laughs> yeah! Hey, how are you today? Look at our camel. Let's draw a desert, kids. We're going to start by drawing our camel with a big hump on his back. And then we're going to do his legs one by one like that. Have you ever been to the desert? Oh, I have. It's super hot and super dry. But these camels are amazing because they can live without water for ages. Let's do our eye, our ears and our hooves. Our saddle. A few stripes here and there. Tassels. One, two, three, four, five of those. Now let's draw the desert surroundings. We're going to draw a few little rocks here and there. Some pyramids in the background. Maybe a palm tree with a nice long bendy trunk. Horizontal lines going all the way up. Where do you think the camel is? Maybe Egypt? That's where they have pyramids, isn't it? Actually, pyramids are all over the world. Did you know that? but we definitely know they're in Egypt. Five gorgeous zigzaggy leaves for our palm tree, with a line going down the middle of each one, slightly varying the size of each leaf to give a little bit of perspective for our bending palm tree. Now we're gonna draw the hot, hot, hot sun with the rays all the way around. Wow, ready to paint. Let's start with a sandy yellow color painting our main ground, going around our oval shapes that we've drawn on there. That's it, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Around the black lines, side to side. Now, where do they have deserts in the world? Can you think? I know that they have them in Africa and they definitely have them in America. How about Australia. They have loads of desert in Australia. In fact, most of Australia is a desert land. But majority of people live around the edges. That's right, they live by the sea mostly. And it's very much desert in the middle. How about Pakistan and India? Definitely deserts there. It's just going around our final three oval shapes there. There you go. This is the biggest part to paint. And then the rest is easy, easy peasy. Or 
almost done. That's it. Keep going. And there. Brilliant. Going for a dark sandy colour now for our rocks. Lovely. And there you go. Let's go for a slightly darker sandy colour for our pyramids. It's almost brown. You see how we're using slightly different shades of the same colour? It gives a really lovely effect. Bright green for our palm tree base and leaves. Painting carefully in between those jaggedy edges. How many leaves do we need to paint? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, well done. Five leaves. Now dark brown for our tree trunk. Nice and narrow strokes staying in between the lines. Perfect. And yellow for our sun. Our hot, hot, sparkly yellow sun. Now let's go with some peachy colour for our camel. It's almost like a rose gold, isn't it? What a gorgeous colour. Painting carefully around the tassels, along the legs. That's it. You're doing really well. Well done. You've nearly done it already. Now let's just do the final bit of the leg. Onto the neck. Have you ever ridden a camel? Oh, I have. It was amazing. They're so gorgeous. Carefully painting around the nostril and the eye there. Purple is going to go on our camel hump. And brown for the tip of his tail. And his ears. And don't forget the nostril. And we're going to do every other tassel yellow and the top stripe yellow too. Let's mix that with pink. Pink for the second stripe. And green next. Green for the third stripe. And the other tassels. Now red for our fourth and final stripe. Yay! We've done it! A gorgeous camel with a sparkly rainbow saddle in the desert. <laughs> Look at that! Hi! Today we're going to show you how to draw and paint your own sparkly princess dress. Yes, first of all we're starting to do the outline using a black marker pen. We're going to use straps here but you can have sleeves if you want. We're going to do some frills and we're going to layer it because we want this to be a really big princess dress. Let's do just one more layer. Swervy lines. Brilliant. Let's add some jewels on for a belt. Gorgeous. How about a bow in the middle? Yeah, we love a nice bow. Now we're going to add some flowers. Yes, what's your favourite flower? My favourite flowers are roses. I just love them. We can do different types of flowers on here if you want. Now, who do you think would like this flowery dress? Hmm, Rapunzel? Well, no, because she's just in her tower. How about Cinderella? Yes, Cinderella. She is my favourite princess. How about you? Who's your favourite princess? I know she would just love these flowers. Let's colour it in with sparkly paint. Yes, we're going to do pink straps. How about a yellow top half of the body? I'm not going to paint the flowers in yet because we can do those another colour later. Now we're going to go pink again. We love pink and princesses definitely have to have some pink on their dress, don't you think? Sparkly! Yeah, excellent. Hmm, so I just love it when Cinderella is not a princess but then the fairy godmother comes along and makes her into a princess. It's brilliant. And she has a pumpkin for a carriage. Fantastic. But you want to be careful that the clock doesn't strike midnight because we don't want all these beautiful sparkly colours to fade away. So green gives a lovely contrast and some purple even better. You know what? Purple is my favourite colour and you can't get better than sparkly purple. Brilliant. What's your favourite colour? 
Me too. I like all of them. Now, how about some more yellow to match the top part? Yeah, our bottom layer of the dress to match the top. What a good idea. We're using a small brush so we don't paint the flowers by accident. And so I just love it when the prince gets that glass slipper and he puts it on Cinderella's shoe and it fits perfectly and he realises that she is the love of his life. Ah, the best fairy tale ever. Right, I think we're going to paint in our flowers. Hmm, red. Yes, red roses. Let's do every other flower. That way we can add even more colours onto our beautiful sparkly princess dress. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, let's paint the middle of the flowers differently. Yeah, blue, turquoise. I love how that stands out against the red and the pink and the yellow. Beautiful blue bow. We don't have to be all pink, you know, to be a princess. We can be rainbow coloured too. What's your favourite thing to draw? Maybe if we get some material, we can try and make a princess dress like this. Wouldn't that be amazing? Do you like making things yourself? Me too. And I love drawing and painting. So what do you think? I think Cinderella is going to love her flowery princess dress. Hey kids, it's a gorgeous day today. Fancy a day at the beach? Let's draw. We're going to draw two lines, one down either side of our page. Add a sun in the middle by doing a circle with the sun rays all around. A smiley face, of course. Yay, and rosy cheeks. Then we're going to draw some clouds. Just a few, one or two. Very easy to do. There you go. How about some flip-flops? We definitely need flip-flops on the beach, don't you think? Perhaps some seashells and a starfish. What else might we see on a beach? Oh, I know. A beach mat. Let's make it a stripy one. Brilliant. And a bucket, of course. We can't go to the beach without a bucket now, can we? Another rock. Now let's draw the ocean. Some waves. Very easy to do, just curvy lines from one side to the other side, layering it like that, marking out our beach area with a few hedges at the back. And some palm trees, yeah. Straight down one side, curvy down the other, a few circles for the coconuts, and then some long oval shapes for the leaves. Gorgeous, let's do another one. Super easy to draw, and they look fantastic too, don't you think? Three coconuts just like before, and our long palm tree leaves. Hey, do you like palm trees? <laughs> me too! You know, they always make me think of something really exotic. One, two, three, four, five, six of those! Brilliant! Let's draw a hammock in between those two palm trees. Make good use of them, I say. Have you ever been in a hammock? Oh, it's so relaxing. It's amazing. I'm just going to hang those on the palm trees. Now time to paint. Yay! Yellow for the sun, of course. Missing out the cheeks and the mouth. We're going to go for gold now to do the outside. Pink for our rosy cheeks. And red for our tongue. Then finally some peach for the mouth. Perfect sun. Turquoise. Our clouds are going to be turquoise. That's right. And why not? Why should clouds be white? This is your picture. You can paint them whatever colour you want. And I love turquoise. Green next for the palm tree leaves. Yep, you guessed it right. All six of them on each tree. Let's do the other one. Three, four, five, and six. There you go, brilliant. Brown now, we're going to do brown for the tree trunk. Side to side, side to side, super easy, side to side. And the other tree. This is so therapeutic. I love painting, don't you? Now let's go for darker brown for our coconuts. 
Oh, green again. Yay. Green for one stripe on our hammock. Next, we're going to go for pink. Wow, look at that. So vibrant. Yellow. That beautiful reflection of the sun there. Some purple. My favourite. Red for the ends. Let's go for some peach to do our sand. It's a gorgeous, rosy, peachy beach. Look at the sand glisten in the sunlight. It's so gorgeous. I would just love to go and lie on this beach in the sun, would you? Oh, hey, let's make a sand castle. That would be fun too, wouldn't it? What do you like to do when you go to the beach? Can you swim? Or how about paddling? Let's do some blue now for the water. Gorgeous, crystally blue waves lapping up and down. So relaxing. Ah, very nice. Hey, I wonder what's in the sea. Do you think there are some fish there? Maybe a starfish like the one on the beach. Just along the bottom and we're nearly done with our ocean. And there. Let's paint green. Let's choose green next for our hedges. It's really nice to give a bit of perspective when you do something else at the back of your picture like hedges to mark the edge of your beach. Let's do the flip-flops next. Pink straps. And yellow for the soles. Now let's go for some red and start painting the stripes on our beach map. Yellow, I think, would go perfectly next to that red. The brighter, the better. Now, what should we do the middle stripe in? Ooh, purple. Yes, what a great choice. Let's go for some more yellow now, and we're going to paint our bucket rim. Some turquoise to match the sea and the clouds. Ah, got water in it, you see. And pink for the rest of our bucket. How about the handle? Let's do it green. Yeah. You see, you choose the same colour over and over, here and there in your picture, and it just all blends in and matches up perfectly together. Now we've got our brown rocks there, and our starfish is going to be pink. Absolutely gorgeous! Look at that! A day at the beach. Hey kids, look what it is! An ice cream van! Yay! Are you ready to draw it? Let's begin. Start with the wheels. Draw the van and headlight. Another wheel too. Tail light. The window. And the real magic ice cream. Make a roof. Front window. And all the small details. Lastly, the big ice cream on top. This is how we know our favorite ice cream van is approaching. Time to paint, kids. Start with pink for the truck. Colour gold will look lovely for the window. And some sparkly silver too. Bright green for the wheels. Some brown too. for the interior. Sea green for the van roof. Red for the tail light and the roof. Don't forget the headlight. 
Let's add some green to our roof too. The yummy scoops with purple, golden and red. Brown for the cones. And let's make the big ice cream chocolate flavoured. Yum! Light pink for a cone. And done! Look! Here goes our van! To serve happiness with yummy ice cream. Hope you had fun drawing an ice cream van. Look at this magical floating hot air balloon. Let's begin. A square for the basket. Two lines to connect the skirt. And a big balloon. Cover the balloon with lines. And done! Time to paint. Start off with red and then green. Purple The color gold Pink Cyan Orange Green And red again What a pretty balloon! Let's quickly complete it Sea green for the skirt and golden for the details. Yay! Ready to fly? Woohoo! This is magical! Here is our lovely hot air balloon. See you next time. Hello! Oh, look at this beautiful flower. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a tulip. One of my favourites. Let's start by drawing the facial features. Eyes, mouth, eyelashes, a teardrop for the inner petal and two on either side, a stalk, two leaves. Darkening up the border. Very easy to draw this flower's shape. Ready to paint already? OK, let's go for a pink. A beautiful pink tulip. But you know tulips can be all different colours so you can paint your favourite colour if you like. Or use your imagination. Why not do a rainbow tulip and paint each petal a different colour? Green leaves and stalk. That's right. Almost done already. And voila! And if you want to paint lots of these, you could make a whole field of tulips just like this one. Look, there's even yellow ones in the background and a windmill. Ooh, brilliant. Go on, give it a go. Hey kids, fancy some milk and cookies? Ooh, I do love it at bedtime. Start with a circle for the cookie and a smiley face rosy cheeks and of course don't forget the chocolate chips or are they raisins or smarties what do you want on your cookie it's all up to you little arms and legs and next to it a glass of milk yummy milk good for the bones you know smiley face there too and some hands and legs and did you know that cookies and milk are best friends so they're holding hands Ah, darkening up the border to make our colours stand out ready to paint ok let's go for brown for our cookie because our cookie is a chocolate cookie yummy yummy what's your favourite cookie do you like chocolate chip 
Do you like Nutella cookies? How about vanilla cookies? Have you even tried fudge caramel cookies? Or mint choc chip? Even better. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Right, darker brown for our chips and the hands and feet. Lovely. Bit of dark chocolate. Never did anyone any harm. Same for the glass of milk, hand and feet. Now we're going for peachy cheeks. On to blue to represent our glass. So the outer part is all going to be blue. Carefully going down the sides of our milk. And then we're going for a very pale silver colour, which is almost white, to represent our milk. Carefully going around the facial features, eyes and cheeks. With a small paintbrush, that will do the job. And we're done. Some peachy cheeks there too. And there you have it. Cookies and milk. Oh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Subscribe and watch more. Chicky Art!